Well, this is the Passover that we observe. When you go to um, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 26, after Jesus had given um, the Holy Communion, when they took bread and wine to commemorate Jesus' body being um, broken and his blood being shed, because we see that right before Jesus is taken, but right before they take him to be crucified, Jesus had the Passover meal with his disciples. They took bread and wine, which represented Jesus' broken body and his blood. But I'm not going to get that in this video, but you know what happened. And so now Paul tells us in um, verse 26, right after telling what Jesus did. You know what? Let me just go ahead and um, start at verse 23. Let me just give it to you. For I have received of the Lord that which I which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. So the same night Jesus betrayed, he took bread, what I was just telling you. He says, and when he had given thanks, he break it and said, take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also, he took the he took the cup. When he had supped, saying, after he sipped it, he, 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 all right, folks, here I go again. Straighten out Jay Bradley lies again. All right. Now you hear where he said that Jesus took the cup, you know, and he sipped. He said he sipped from the cup. Folks, that's a lie. You know, this young fella, he's going into the Bible, trying to open up the Bible with no understanding. He don't know how to rightly divide it, properly explain it. He makes shipwreck of every scripture he go to. He makes shipwreck. He use, he's leaning towards his own understanding of what things mean. All right, let's go where he went. He went to 1 Corinthians chapter 11, and I think he was reading at the 23rd verse. And it says, Apostle Paul is telling to the Corinthians church, says, For I have received of the Lord that for I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you that the Lord Jesus the same night in which he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks he broke it and said take eat this is my body which is broken for you this do in remembrance for me All right the 25th verse after the same manner also he took the cup when he had sup. Now, Jay Bradley went to this scripture and got deceived by the devil. He think that word sup means sip. That doesn't mean sip. That word sup is a short abbreviation of supper. So after supper, see all this stuff happened after supper. He had the communion after supper. They was already eating before they had communion. They was eating. Uh, they was eating a feast before they had the communion. So this sup don't mean sip. It means supper. After supper, he did all this. Well, you say, well, Peter, do you got Bible for it? Yes, I do. Let's go to Luke chapter twenty-two, and we'll start at. Let's see, at the nineteenth verse. And he took bread and gave thanks and break it and gave it unto them saying, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this do in remembrance of me. Likewise, here we go. Also the cup after supper saying this cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you. See, folks, it says after supper. See, that's when he did the communion. He did it after they had supper. So, Jay Bradley, that supped does not mean sip. Jesus did not sip out of the cup. He did not sip out of the cup. That means after supper. So, you got it wrong again, Jay. Jay. Take my advice, stay out of the Bible, go somewhere, sit down, and be taught the truth. 
The Bible said at the time you ought to be teaching, you need someone to teach you again. Jay, you need to sit down and learn the truth. Not only you, it's a whole lot of you out there like Jay, Jay Bradley that needs to sit down, stop trying to analyze the Bible. You don't know how to open up the scriptures. Y'all still believing, I mean, y'all believing that the Son of God is still alive now. The only begotten Son of God is still alive now. That's a lie. He ended on the cross. I'm going to keep saying it until somebody prove me wrong. You can go all the scriptures you want. But there's not one scripture that proves that the Son of God is in heaven now. See, folks, y'all don't realize what you're saying. When you're saying that there's a Son of God in heaven now, you're saying flesh and blood is in heaven. And the Bible strictly said that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. That's the only thing the Son of God consisted of. So all of you Son of God believers, I tell you what. I'm open for a debate on this Son of God issue. Elder Mary's out there crying about what he does. Yeah, I tell y'all what, get together. I, I want y'all to get together. Y'all go, since he cut me off, you know, that shows you how cowardly he is. That goes to show you he's scared of me. Since he cut me off, and all of you son of God believers believe that this man got something, and he wants to uh, discuss it, tell him come discuss the son of God with me. Tell him come and discuss it with me. And every scripture he go to, I'll make him lick it up. And show him it don't mean what he think it means. Every scripture he go to the think that's in his favor. Tell him all true 64 is willing and able to discuss the son of God issue with him anytime he want. That's it. See, he's throwing out his, his wolf tickets while I'm buying them. Tell him I'm, I'm, I'm willing to, 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 to face him before the public. About there's no son of God in heaven now. I say there is no son of God in heaven now. He claimed that it is. Tell your champion to come forward with what he had and watch me make him lick it up. He won't be able to prove it. But first of all, he got to prove that the son of God is something else besides flesh and blood with a natural spirit of life. If it's not that, then it's not the son of God. So you got an imaginary son of God in heaven now, and you don't know what he consists of. All I got to do is ask you one question. What nature do the son of God consist of while he's in heaven, according to your belief? According to your belief, tell me what nature he consists of. Flesh and blood, flesh and bone, or spirit? We know God is in heaven, and he consists of spirit. But the Bible says God is a spirit. We know the angels in heaven. Because he maketh his angels spirit. So if you said that the son of God is in heaven, what did he consist of? That is my knockout question. What do the son of God consist of if he's in heaven right now? Sitting at the right hand of the father. You got to tell me what did it consist of? Because remember, y'all claim he's coming back. And the Bible says we shall be like him. So if we're going to be like him, what we're going to be? So for us to be like him, you got to tell me what he is. And then give me Bible. Give me Bible chapter and verse. If you say he's flesh and blood, which that's what he did consist of, but flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. If you say he's flesh and bone, then find me where the son of God was flesh and bone. Give me one scripture to prove that the son of God is flesh and bone. And if you say he's spirit, then give me Bible where God ever had a begotten spirit, son of God. That's it. See, you're stuck. Either way you go, folks, you're stuck. So you might as well just go ahead and admit you have an imaginary son of God in heaven now. Jay Bradley, give it up. Just admit it. None of you can face me. None of you won't face me. All that did face me, they went down. They couldn't prove the point. And I'm going to stick to my knockout question. What nature do the son of God consist of if he's in heaven now? Flesh and blood, flesh and bone, or spirit, and then give me Bible for your answer. I say he don't consist of none of that right now. Because the son of God is no more. And I'm going to say that. The son of God is now no more. And I got Bible to prove it. And if you don't think I can prove it, come face me. That's all you got to do. Come face me. I'll prove to the people. 
that the Son of God is now no more. But you prove to the people that the Son of God is in heaven now, right now. That's it. Since you're in heaven, it's since you got him in heaven, I want to know what he consists of while he's up in heaven. That's it. So, folks, Jay Bradley, do yourself a favor, do the people a favor, and, and just stay out of the Bible, man. You, you make a shipwreck of the scripture. Jesus did not sit from the cup. You are a liar. That, that was talking about after that sit, that supped is not sit. That supped stands for supper. So after supper, he did the communion. I double dare anybody out there to challenge me on that. I double dare you to tell me he did not have a, a, a feast before the communion. They wasn't having, you telling me that they wasn't eating before the communion? I double dare you to prove that they wasn't. I say they were. They were eating the supper before then. And then they had the communion. I can go deeper into it, but I'm going to leave it at that. So, folks, you got the truth of the matter. That was not talking about sip. That supped was not talking about sip. I think I heard Geno Jenner said that same lie. They sip. They didn't sip. Well, they went around. Well, if he sipped, then we were all um, sipped it after him. And they didn't use it. They, they used glasses. They all had glasses. And the Bible said he poured it. I got a Bible for that. He poured it. It was 12 vessels there. Watch this now. I'm going to throw you in for a loop. It was 12 vessels on the table. Jesus and his 11 disciples. There you go. I'm going to say it again. It was 12 vessels, Jesus and his 11 disciples. Now you figure it out and come before me. So this is all true 64 signing off. Peace.